and welcome to Doctors Financial. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, my name is Dr. V. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the big news of the day, Coinbase. They went public via a direct offering. Now, I spoke about it on yesterday, and I believe that 425 would be somewhere around where it opened or be a good opening price. It opened a little bit lower than that. It crept up to 425, even past it, went to 429, but then it came crashing down. And that's why I don't usually play IPOs or direct offerings on the uh, IPO day because you never know. You don't have anything to base it on except for what the analysts or the so-called experts say that the price is going to be. So it's very hard to really get a gauge of what a stock is going to do on its first day listing. There's usually a lot of hype, especially with a company like Coinbase, and you expect it to run up. But man, I was so wrong and it just went straight down. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, how Coinbase did. So you can see here, 386 opening. And then it ran up and I thought that would it would keep going past the 425 that I expected. But it just came crashing down. Got all the way down to as low as 313. Actually got as low as 310. Did make a nice little comeback. And it is up almost 3% after hours. We'll see where the stock goes from here. But what I also noted and what I also want to show you all is what it did to the other Bitcoin uh, or crypto stocks. So Mara, M-A-R-A, that's a Bitcoin mining company, Marathon Digital Holdings. And they were doing really well. But you can see 15% loss in one day. And that's because Coinbase... The IPO, it just siphoned the money away from Mara, M-A-R-A. Siphoned the money away from Riot Blockchain. That's another Bitcoin mining company. And it and they're down 15% also. And you can even look at uh, Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, down 6%. Money was even siphoned away from there. So a lot of people took money out of these other plays to get into Coinbase. We'll see how it affects these other stocks, M-A-R-A, R-I-O-T, Riot, and uh, Grayscale. We'll, we'll see how it affects these other stocks going forward. Will more money be leaving those stocks to get into Coinbase? Uh, I don't suspect it, but we'll see. I know on today, it really affected those companies, and I believe it affected a lot of the other uh, speculative companies Overall, a lot of money was drawn away from those companies so that people can uh, go ahead and buy some Coinbase stock. So let's see how this plays out going forward. Now, I currently don't hold any of these companies. Thank goodness for stock losses. I was I didn't have to uh, take this long ride down. Thank goodness for stock losses. But I do want to show you how Bitcoin is actually doing. So as we can see here, Bitcoin was up almost 65,000 at one point. It did come down today, but you can still see it's holding over $60,000 well. I'm not in any of the stocks as I said, but I do buy Bitcoin. And I just like how more and more companies are accepting Bitcoin. And then the merger now between the stock market in the crypto market how they just seamlessly start to uh, come together a lot of people that trade in stocks are, are actually buying Bitcoin and trading Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies also and I just see these prices of Bitcoin going further and further and further up and the way I play it for anybody that's new to the channel I just dollar cost average in I buy a few dollars of uh, Bitcoin every week 25, 30, 50, every week, I buy a little bit of Bitcoin and I just dollar cost average in. Also buy Ethereum, and we can see Ethereum has been on a monster run. Um, headed towards 20, uh, 2,500. This is great, I get into both. I really like Ethereum, especially with the uh, all of the hype that's around NFTs and how Ethereum is the blockchain used or the NFTs. So I play Bitcoin and Ethereum. I know there are other um, 
cryptos out there specifically talking about a uh, dogecoin i see dogecoin is around 12 13 cent now i remember looking at that when it was under a penny so that's doing really well um it's no longer just a meme uh crypto or like my daughter like to say a meme <laughs> it's no longer a, a meme crypto there are actually places that accept dogecoin where you can actually pay and get different services using dogecoin so it's not just a mean crypto anymore going forward i will continue buying the bitcoin continue buying the ethereum and continuing investing in value growth and recovery plays disney cruise industry airlines so so uh but nike apple all of the companies that I always bring up, Home Depot, all of those companies are still, I'm still big, I'm still bullish on all of those companies. Okay, there you have it. That's how I'm playing crypto. One thing I want to put on the front of your mind, don't just get into a play without knowing how you're going to ex exit that play. And don't just get into a play or have what's called FOMO, fear of missing out because you feel the player is going to run up and you just want to be a part of it, but you really don't understand what that company is about or what that stock is going to be doing. There's, there's thousands and thousands of companies listed on the stock market, and thousands and thousands of good companies. There'll always be another company to invest in. You don't have to uh, have your heart set on just one company. If you don't get in that one, there's always going to be another one. They're like buses or trains. When, when you miss one, just wait a little while. Another one will be coming around. You miss that one, another one will be coming around. Don't get caught up in the hype of stocks or in the hype of people pushing, pushing or pumping stocks. That's why I always, and it's repetitive with me when I'm talking about stocks, I'm always pushing the industry leaders, ETFs, being diversified and being in great companies companies that you know and that you've heard of all right that's what i have for you all in this video i kindly ask if you're getting anything from the videos hit that like button for me subscribe to the channel comment down below but most of all share with others i do have my instagram and facebook links below if you need to get in contact with me, that will be the best way. Just leave me a message in a direct messenger. I check them daily and then uh, I'll get right back with you. All righty. You guys, I'm going to finish up with a word of prayer. And if you would like, you can pray with me. Lord God, we thank you once again for all that you have done for us. Continue to bless us, Lord God, and help us to be good stewards with all that you give us. Bless us with wisdom, knowledge, Heavenly Father, so that we may do well with our investments. Bless us for generations to come with wealth and financial independence. It's in your Holy Son, Jesus' name I pray. May our cup run it over. Amen. You guys be blessed.